This was yesterday, Thursday, just outside the Public Affairs Office. The trace amount of snow, just an appetizer in front of this weekend's predicted blizzard. More on that in just a moment. Hello, I'm Brian Spann and welcome to Mead Week. Also on this edition, the Tax Center is set to open. The DOD prepares for a new way to access child care. And the McGill Training Center opens a virtual weapons range. These stories and more. But first, with the weekend's expected snowfall, questions concerning the operational status of Fort Meade always come up. There are several ways to stay informed about base status. The Facebook page is the best place to start. For most people, it's very accessible and it can be updated the easiest. You can also sign up for text alerts by texting follow FT Meet Alert to 40404. On the Fort Meade website, just click on Garrison Status. Stay informed and stay safe this weekend. In other news, the 2016 tax season is here. The Joint Installation Tax Center opens on Monday, January 25th, with a ribbon cutting at Building 4217. Tax assistance is available to all DOD ID card holders and is free of charge. You can make your appointment starting on Monday. Elsewhere, the McGill Training Center cut the ribbon on a new virtual firing range, the Engagement Skills Trainer 2000. The EST Trainer is a five-lane system that provides a supplement to live fire training. McGill go. Training Specialist Ben Rogers explains how it works. So it's real Army weapons that have been modified. Uh, we have a compressor back there, uh, and they're con connected to compressed air. So when you pull the trigger, it actually gives you a kickback, and the PSI is adjusted to the caliber of the weapon, so that's appropriate. Roger says that nothing replaces live firing, but the EST is a good way to establish good habits and build confidence. However, there are some advantages. The difference is, well, there's no live ammunition, so there's no projectiles. So safety-wise, it's, 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 uh, it's better that way. Um, Cost-wise, and logistically, the soldiers don't have to go get ammunition. They don't have to organize uh, transportation. Uh, and here from Fort Meade, I believe they got to go down to either AP Hill or up to Aberdeen Proving Grounds to get their ammo. The EST is made for the Army, but all services are welcome to use it. Just contact Ben Rogers at McGill Training Center to make an appointment. Meanwhile, Corvius Military Living is partnering with the DOD in the Privatized Housing Solar Challenge. The initiative encourages private companies to provide solar power to more than 40 military bases across the country to save on energy bills and make military communities more energy secure. It's also to, you know, to, to reduce the carbon footprint and to um, partner with the DOD, which they have uh, very aggressive goals uh, you know, to, to reduce and, and to use renewable energy. So. As a 50-year partner with the United States Army, that's obviously one of our goals also. Mr. Kotwis also says that more savings will be realized in the future. You really won't see that savings in year one or two, but probably three, four, five, and then out into the deeper years of the private, or the, um, uh, the PPA, the power purchase agreement that we have. That's where you'll really start to see the savings show up is when everybody else is paying what you would pay for higher utility rates outside the gates. We have a locked rate at a capped inflation rate where that is where we'll really hedge our utility cost for years to come. So instead of spending more money on utilities five years from now, we're spending, you know, two, three, four percent more versus 10, 15 percent more, which means we can invest more into the actual housing. Corvius will install solar panels on 1,800 homes in Fort Meade in support of the DOD initiative. In other news, the Department of Defense is preparing to launch a single online gateway to military child care. MilitaryChildCare.com is scheduled to start on March 16th. It will be a one-stop shop for all branches of service when it comes to requesting child care. And what if you're currently on a waiting list? Your existing request will be transferred to MilitaryChildCare.com on March 16th. For additional information, contact Parent Central Services at Fort Meade's Child Youth and School Services. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend, stay safe, and have a great Mead Week. They do so much for us. That's why we do so much for them. USO Metro's programs boost the morale of our military members and their families. Located right here in the Washington, Baltimore region are the largest USO centers in the world. The USO Warrior and Family Centers at Fort Belvoir and Bethesda. These state-of-the-art centers provide services to lift the spirits of our troops and their families and offer robust programs for the wounded, ill, and their caregivers. USO Metro Centers and Airport Lounges provide a strong sense of community, familiarity, and trust by providing a home away from home. USO Metro is proud to serve those who serve and their families in Maryland, Northern Virginia, and Washington, D.C.